Senior Oscar Carriona, the Executive Vice President of SJC and other concelebrating priests, deacons, and uh, members of St. Joseph College Educative Family who are here present, uh, teaching and teaching staff, employees, and our students being represented here. At the same time, those who are following or celebrating with us through St. Joseph College's Facebook Live, we are so grateful to the Lord for this unique celebration of uh, the foundation days of St. Joseph College. St. Joseph College is 93 years since its foundation and having existed for 93 years is indeed a great gift from the Lord that we have to express our gratitude for such gift. And it's unique celebration because we have or we are celebrating here at the cathedral the church reminding us of a very important dimension of St. Joseph College in fact the reason for its foundation why the school has been founded that the St. Joseph College is a church is in educational institution of the Catholic Church. I say this is a very important dimension not only for the school and its administration but for all of us who are members of this family. And our gathering here in the cathedral precisely expresses that uh, dimension for which we should thank God and uh, in this occasion of the Foundation Day celebration, we continue to make our effort as a family for this academic year 2020 to 2021 that we have started and we have gone through a little bit more of the half of the semester or academic year. We continue as the theme of this academic year suggests to us to intensify our communion with God and others. We remind ourselves that for this academic year 2020 to 2021, SJCEF, St. Joseph College Educative Family, intensifies communion with God and others and uh, as we thank God for this foundation days we are reminded of this goal that St. Joseph College was founded not just to teach to give knowledge to a human person but ultimately to save the human person those who are working or staying in this school and those who come to patronize or the school the students and everybody else so we are reminded of this great aim as we are happy today, we need to see the bigger picture of St. Joseph College. And the bigger picture is our salvation. And this year also is very unique because the Holy Father has proclaimed the year of St. Joseph to commemorate or to celebrate the 150 years 
that St. Joseph was proclaimed as the patron of the Universal Church by Pope Pius IX. And uh, the Holy Father Francis, Pope Francis, wrote a letter to us, to us Catholics, entitled Patris Corde, referring to St. Joseph with the heart of a father. And so as this year's celebration of St. Joseph College, it is good for us while we look forward to our salvation, our communion with God, that is what salvation means. And that's why we try to intensify this communion with God. And this year, we focus on St. Joseph to teach us how to, to bring about this intense communion with God that we all must look forward to. And the Holy Father wrote Patris Corde against the backdrop of COVID-19 pandemic. The reality that we all are in, the whole world, even the whole church, the reality of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this letter is written with this backdrop and which the Holy Father says has helped us to see more clearly the importance of ordinary people who, though far than the limelight, exercise patience and after and offer hope every day. In this, the Holy Father continues, they, these ordinary people, resemble Saint Joseph, whom he described as the man who goes unnoticed, a daily, a daily discreet and hidden presence who nonetheless played an in, incomparable role in the history of salvation. During this pandemic, there are so many people suffering. There are, of course, the limelight people who are the health, the frontliners, the scientists, the leaders of the nations really work hard to solve this pandemic. Uh, there are billions of ordinary people, the ones who are really suffering. And uh, having the, the image or the figure of Saint Joseph offers us hope gives us patience in enduring this situation that we cannot do anything about. I mean, just, just this celebration, we recall how we used to celebrate our Family Day celebration with the presence of our students feeling so big a family but now we are just ourselves here but nevertheless this is not less important or less meaningful than when we used to celebrate our family days the big crowd and with so many activities and, and events so Saint Joseph makes us understand what is really the meaning behind the ordinariness of life? Even at St. Joseph College, not everyone is the school president, only one. Not everyone is member of the academic council. 
great majority of you are ordinary teacher, employee, but ordinary not in the sense of you are a second class person, no. Precisely by looking at St. Joseph, who was so ordinary, yet he had, he had a, a very important, says, incomparable role in the history of salvation. This is something that we need to learn. It's not only those who will receive the service award today that we should feel that they have some role to play not only at St. Joseph College, but the bigger picture that we, each one of us, in our ordinary duties, have an incomparable role in the history of salvation. St. Joseph gives us this realization. And the Holy Father, in fact, wants us to to dwell on this, let's say, unseen, unseen by people of the world. Because the people of the world, they want to see something that is, you know, popular. You have become the, the, the star of the show. You are the one on whom the spotlight is focused. You are the one who would appear as someone who is so flashy and so on and so forth. Saint Joseph was a simple, ordinary, but just man. And so the Holy Father goes on with some characteristics that I just want to pick a few of them about Saint Joseph because for us Again, we need to look at him, even if we don't have his, well, we must have his uh, here. Yes, this side altar is the altar dedicated to Saint Joseph. So, the Holy Brother says we, we can look at a Joseph who is a beloved, tender, obedient father and all the other attributes that the Holy Father is sharing focus on being a father you might say majority of us are mothers female or there are some who are of course male and so we can we can somehow relate to the aspect of being a father but we know very well that the human person each one of us has a male and female elements in fact you, you know that there are physically male but more female in their feelings and in their dealings and likewise physically female but they are more manly than others. So it doesn't really mean the, 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 the gender, but the characteristic, the trait of a father. Beloved, tender, obedient father. So this is the, the qualifi qualification of Saint Joseph as a father. Obedient father because Joseph is welcoming the will of God. That is what you learn from the very the meager words about Saint Joseph in the gospel. You can only be struck with his being obedient, welcoming the will of God. At the same time, Joseph is an accepting father because he accepted Mary unconditionally. Recall how Joseph was, was thinking to, to leave behind, to leave Mary, to divorce her because uh, 
she was found to have a child which is not his and the angel in a dream told Joseph to take Mary and when he woke up as the gospel relates Joseph did as the angel, as the angel told him accepted Mary without question not even ask Mary well, who is the father of the child you are bearing no. accepted unconditionally so we have here a father who is welcoming God's will then the Holy Father describes Joseph as a creatively courageous father and an example of love you know when you say about tender creative loving this seems to be characteristic of mothers that's why it is it is challenging for us males to have this kind of characteristics but I don't think it's only a challenge or it's not only challenging for us males to be tender to be loving could also be a challenge for for females but the real tenderness the real love that is not selfish that is not looking for only her own or his own gratification without condition accepting everyone without condition this is very difficult you would always size up a person by his physical appearance or his skills and abilities his way of you know uh, relating and we would already put him in a box and our relating with that person is determined but by what we have perceived about him so a loving tender accepting each other and conditionally and the last point that I picked up from what the Holy Father describes Saint Joseph for us to, to imitate is Joseph a father who teaches the value dignity and joy of work he is also the patron of the worker Saint Joseph so this is the the man of the year the year for Saint Joseph for us not only for us Josephinians for for every for every disciple of Jesus the qualities of Joseph that reflects the qualities of God the Father the qualities of Jesus the Savior and so my dear Josephinians my dear members of the Saint Joseph College educative family we have as we as we thank God for this 93 years of the institution and as we are so uh, and our, and our gratitude brings us together to celebrate first and foremost the Eucharist and later on our our uh, oneness as a family and affirming each other particularly those who have served the, the school and the community and the family for some years we have this challenge to continue to become like Saint Joseph For my part as the father of this family and as the one for well on record 20 years have served as the as the school president it's not because of these thoughts but it came out in my in my reflection what Saint Joseph College as an institution could do to its 
workers who gave their time, their talents, their life for many years and also to celebrate and to mark this year of St. Joseph the administration thought of, of bringing up again a, a housing project for the employees which we will call St. Joseph Village and uh, I am determined that this in this year of St. Joseph something of this project of the St. Joseph Village will, will be started I'm not saying will be finished but will be started according to our means just to have this sense of fatherhood of the school of Saint Joseph as he was a father and I am sure the Saint Joseph the Saint will bless this effort and Saint Joseph himself will help us Saint Joseph College to provide as much as the means can or for its employees and all for its members so we pray for them and in fact today we will try to to acknowledge the those who have served the school or have given their life to saint joseph Callis from 20 years up with a token of uh, gratitude and a token of the fatherhood of the school to provide something for like Saint Joseph providing for the child Jesus and Saint Joseph College to provide something for the employees whom the school would regard to be also like Jesus all in all my dear members of the Saint Joseph College educative family the whole focus of our gathering and of our work and life at saint joseph college is on god and this season of lent reminds us that we need to turn to god we need to focus on the lord we need to work on our conversion our turning away from our selfishness even those attributes of being loving and tender we could do that but for selfish motives for selfish motives but we are given the challenge to to be loving to be tender to be to be working day in and day out at saint joseph college but with love because of god for god not for ourselves and if that is our attitude, if that is, that is our way of looking at things, St. Joseph will not fail us. Because God will never fail us, those who continue to turn towards Him in the spirit of land, the conversion. And just to, to add a little bit in this sense of land, our conversion, our effort to turn to God has to be expressed in something, some sacrifice, penance. But we need not think of penance as if to, to scourge our body. But the greatest penance that we can do is to work on our daily duties extraordinarily well. You are a teacher, especially in this in this uh, uh, situation of the pandemic some may say oh we are more we are more loaded than when we were in the normal times but whatever if we have the attitude of saint joseph we take what we have in front of us we work to the best of our ability and offering such work to Jesus or to Jesus who is in our co-workers 
to Jesus who is in our students, to Jesus who is the Lord who will provide us later with what we have done for Him. So, let us continue to call on Saint Joseph as our patron. Let us continue to, to imitate the attributes, characteristics that the Holy Father has picked for us. And the challenge to imitate Saint Joseph is, is our sacrifice, is our penance for the season of Lent, so that all in all, we receive not only just the awards, but salvation, which is communion, more intense communion with God and others. Amen.